see this like the the disconnect between uh the community and the police officers is because of the, the perception each each has has of each each other like for example i've never met a uh, i've never had a encounter with a cop that's on the job that is a good encounter besides like these type of meetings like the only time i have a good encounter with a police officer is when we're uh having like conversations like this like when we're in a i think it was like a clippers or a clippers event where we're talking to the police and stuff like this stuff like this i've never had a, like a like a good encounter like with the police then police my neighborhood so that, that was, that's what i was going to say that like i never really had a good encounter with the police that's in uniform doing their job at the time so yeah so i want to i want to make sure i understand you you're saying that in real life, in, in your life, you've never had a, a positive encounter with law enforcement outside of game changer events? Not game changers events. I'm on every event that I went that involved talking to the police. Okay. And like, it, it's not that like, like every, I'm talking about every encounter, like there's like, either if, if there's not an encounter, it's, uh, it's, it's because I didn't uh, wasn't speaking to the police officer or like had anything to do with the police officer. Like like uh, like every encounter was either was either pulled over or uh, or there was this time where the police just raided my house for like I, I don't know why but there was a there was a time that the police raided my house. That was that those are the only encounters I've ever had with the police officers besides these events or the events like this. Right, so when you're out in, in the general public, if, if you walk past a coffee shop or you walk past a police officer, there's either no interaction at all or it's a negative interaction. Well, I, I don't interact with police officers when we just walk past each other. You keep it moving, don't even make eye contact. Thank you, thank you for that, Rufus. And and listen, everyone on the call, you know that's a that's a reality for a number of people in our country. It's not a reality for a lot of people in our country, but it is a reality for for many people in our country. Sergeant Loudermilk. Yes, I just wanted to say to Rufus that has got to change. Smile and walk up to us and say, "How you doing? What's up?" Have a conversation with us. Ask us about our day. Tell us about your day. Just small baby steps. Trust and believe. We are normal people just like you. We like to engage and have conversations with young, any type of race, men. So, and I know it might feel uncomfortable in the beginning. Um, come on down to Inglewood Police Department, ask for me. I'm here Monday through Thursday. Get to know your local law enforcement. It may seem uncomfortable in the beginning, but once you actually take get out of that comfort zone, you'll be like, wow, this is this was not that bad. I could have been doing this a long time ago. And then you'll start going outside your community when you see officers in other areas. And just speak to us, have a conversation with us, just a short dialogue. Hey, how you doing? Introduce yourself. We don't bite, we can have conversations too. So I have Rufus unmuted. Rufus, it, does that sound like something you feel comfortable doing? I mean, um, I feel like if I'm so comfortable talking to police officers in these calls, then I don't think it should be any different between when and when I leave these calls and go on my normal day. Absolutely. Just like you have a conversation with me and you right now, you can have that same conversation with that cop on the, on the street. Um, just... Like I said, in the beginning, that first initial conversation might feel a little uncomfortable, but as you do it over and over again, you'll realize that as time goes on, you'll be fine and you'll be like, oh, I could have been having conversations all the time. Just step out of that comfort zone and hopefully your local law enforcement will be doing the same to you, speaking to you. Thank you for that. Carlos wants to weigh in on this. Go ahead. Yeah, well, um, Go ahead. My name is Carlos from Los Angeles, class of 2021. Um, that, that's an interesting point, you know, and, and that's something I'm comfortable with, but I know for a lot of people, right? Like this, this virtual part is, is a big thing. So 
I could talk to you. I'm not intimidated, right? Because you're how many miles away, right? Like there, there isn't that um, intimidation factor virtually, but for a lot of people seeing you in that uniform, you know, knowing you have those lethal weapons, you know, things of that nature, you use it at your will. It's a big intimidation factor. And so, although it's easy to say, oh, I'd love for you to come up to me, you know, it, it's hard to, to do that oftentimes.